In piping mode in Creole Parametric, there is an extract solids command that allows you to take a bunch of pipeline solids and fittings like flanges and valves and elbows and then consolidate them into a single part file. And be aware there are some ramifications of using this command and I just want to show it to you. All right, so I've got this whole piping assembly open. Let's go to Applications Piping to get into piping mode. And this Extract Solids command isn't even in the interface. If you want to get to it, you're going to use the Search tool and then start typing in Extract. And here we have Extract Model. And this one will open up the Menu Manager and you can either extract models or you could delete an extracted model. Let's choose to extract, and now it's asking me for the name of the part, and I'm going to call it my extracted solid. And now I can pick these different items. And I'm going to grab a bunch of segments going around here. So let's grab some of the solids, grab elbows, and I'm just working my way around here, grabbing all these different parts that I want. And I might end up missing a few flanges. Let me make sure I get them and gaskets and all that good stuff. But let's get a few more in here and rotate around. Where do I want to go? And that looks pretty good. I think I've got everything I want. So I'll click the OK button and then done. And this will actually create that part inside of this assembly. So here you see my extracted solid part. I can click on it from the mini toolbar. I can choose to open it in its own separate window. And there you can see all the different components that were extracted into a single solid model. If you take a look at the model tree, we have a bunch of merge features and we don't even have default datum planes or any other kind of datums to use as references. And the idea is that sometimes you might want to create a drawing just of these different segments rather than having all those different components. So I could make a drawing of this now, but be aware those merge features don't have any dimensions. So any dimensions that I would put into the drawing would be created dimensions. I wouldn't have any dimensions that I could show. So that's how the extracted solid command works. And be aware that now we have these components essentially doubled up in our assembly. Let me go back to the assembly from which this was created. You can almost see with the stipling that we have the component on top of it. So I might want to go and take this one and hide it so I don't see it. And be aware if I were to delete that from the assembly so I wouldn't have a doubling up of components and I wouldn't have a doubling up of my mass properties, it'll cause all the merge features in that other part uh, to fail. And again, we do have that extract command. If I go to extract model from here, then I could choose to delete and let's pick one or more components to delete and then OK and done and done return. It's deleted from out of here. But let me hop back over to that window in which it was created. If I ever regenerate, you'll notice that here we get all those different features failing. So just something to be aware of. It's a command that you might find uses for, but it does have its drawbacks. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.